everything that I've been through has shaped me into who I am, but education is going to lead me to my future. Now I'm really feeling that I'm like real leader. I'm challenging myself in new country and trying to adjust in this new community. I'm much more than just an immigrant or a pretty face or, you know, I'm much more than that. I'm really smart and I, I'm strong and I can do all these things. My parents think that women shouldn't do certain things or women aren't capable of doing certain things, but um, I, I'm actually a, a feminist. I'm a really big feminist. I'm all about women and I think that really empowered me, um, like just to kind of like stand up to my parents and say, you know, women can do this. When I came here, I didn't know a lot of English, so I didn't have a lot of friends. If I want to know more English, I'm supposed to talk to. I'm supposed to talk more, so I try to make more and more and more, so I have a lot of friends now. I have dyslexia, which makes it really hard for my English skills. You have to be patient when you have dyslexia, and a lot of times you just want to give up, but if you push through it, you can um, make good grades in any subject. You know, I have to keep studying. I have to, you know, be an example to not only the immigrant community, but a lot of people that face, like, similar hardships. My mom has almost single-handedly raised the family because my dad, he gambles and he he's kind of irresponsible. Even though she's the one that keeps the family together, I'm the one that supports her. So then I try really hard to make life easier for her. I kind of said, I can use this to better myself. And then I said, I'm going to help teach middle schoolers and other peers around me about this issue and how to deal with it. Nepal is a really polluted country. Like, my mom suffered like asthma when I was so little. So if I be an asthma doctor, I will help like patients who have problem with breathing. I don't want to lose the person that I love because of the illness and disease. So yeah, I have a big desire to become a doctor. I'm gonna finish the college. Uh, of course, finish college, you're gonna get a job, a good job in science. So I'm gonna help my family to tell them, okay, I'm gonna support you back because you support me before. No one in my family has gone to college. And I hope I'll be the first. And through this, I really want to open the door for my sister and also for my parents to have something that they've been waiting for, that they've been working so hard for, is to have a life that they can enjoy. And you know, I wanna, you know, make the effort that me and my parents made worthwhile too, you know. I wanna make it worth it.